Uh, welcome back to my channel again. Mm, I hope you are doing well. On today's video, I'm going to show you PLC to PLC communication types and uh, some differences. Okay, so I try to group on those four, and uh, the last one is for the IO module. So uh, I, the first one is peer to peer communication type. That means they connect the two PLC connected directly and the shared data. They must be under the same network. The second type is the, using a coupler like TPTP coupler for Profibus and the PNP, PNPN coupler for Profinit. The third type is like slave and master, master and slave. This is for Profibus again. And the for the type is like one is a controller and the, the other acts as a device. This is also for Profinet. And the fifth is not PLS to PLC communication, it's like connecting IO module to a PLC. So let's say PLC doesn't have uh, internet port or Profinet port and the IO module has a, a Profinet port only. So to communicate those, uh, this, we have to use a communication processor and uh, the communication processor acts as, as IO controller. Okay. Okay, let's go deeply. Let's see the layout. So the first one is like peer-to-peer -peer communication type. So as you see on the layout, the first is the two PLC are connected by Profinet. And to do this, the two PLC must have different IP address within the same network. Okay, so the connection type is S7 connection. And the instructions that we can use is put in the gate. But we can also use another uh, instructions like Mm, be seen be received you seen so i prefer this one and i will try to do a video on those things which one is better or when do we use the mod these instructions okay so the say the connection is a seven connection again there are so many connection types so i will also try to discuss and their differences uh, on the coming videos the second layout is like the first PLC has Profinet port and the second doesn't have Profinet port. But so we can use a communication processor module to communicate those two PLCs. So the, again, the instruction one side is we can use put in the gate and the other side we have to use edge send and the edge receive. And the third layout here, as you see, is the the two PLC doesn't have a profinet port so we will use a communication processor module again so they will communicate or share data so the instruction again we can use is adjacent adjacent and ag receive for both sides and the connection type is tcp connection again okay so let's move to the second for the second we have to use the coupler that so this is the most common and the most, most used in practical because this device the coupler separates the two networks so also let's say that for profibus let's say the proof the two PLCs have the same profibus address if the two PLCs, two PLCs have the same profibus address there is no option to connect both to share data. So we have to use the coupler. So this will be solved by the coupler. And the instructions are like the system function 40 and the system function 50 for reading and writing, or you can directly use the IO uh, input word or the output word or input byte or output byte. As you see on the bottom, this is for Profinet, the coupler is here again. So the main advantage here, the advantage of the coupler is 
let's say the two pills have the same IP address on the same network. So this, the coupler can solve such problems. The second advantage is, uh, let's say the two PLC are under different network or different subnet. So this will be solved by the PNP coupler, unless otherwise there is no another option to communicate those two PLCs. So the instruction is again the same. So system function 14 and 50 are used. Okay, let's go to the third type. The third type is like a slave and a master. So the one PLC acts as a master, the second acts as a slave. So the connection for, this is for Profibus. So as you see, they are connected by Profibus. So the two PLC must be different Profibus address. And the instruction is also the same system function 14, the system function 50 are used, or you can directly use the input word or input byte or output word or output byte. Okay, here as you see, on the, this is the hardware configuration. So the slave is under the master's network. Okay. Let's move to the third type. The third type is like, this is for Profinet. So the two PLC can directly connect by Profinet. So the two PLC must have different IP address on the same network. And the instruction is the same here, system function 40 and the system function 50 or the input word or output word that use it. And if the one PLC doesn't have, doesn't have a a profinet uh, port so we can use a communication module here also so as you see on the hardware the devices the device will the device is under the controller's network again okay okay those are the four classifications or the four groups how the plc communicate okay let's see the last one this is for not plc to plc but it's for PLC to the I/O module. Okay, as you see, the PLC doesn't have Profinet port. It's TP only. So we use a communication processor module here, and so this 8200S module has only internet port, internet port. So or Profinet port. So the communication processor is connected. So we can. So the I/O module and the PLC can now can communicate. Okay, so I will have the configuration looks like this one, and the instruction we can use on this PLC is PNIO send and the PNIO receive. Okay, thank you. This is the overall or the overall image of how PLC and the two PLC communication has done so i will try to make a video on each group and i think you will get the full information during that so until that have a nice time in the safe see you again thank you